All right, guys, we're here with 4D Puzz. Four dimensions. Bringing puzzles to three dimensions into four dimensions now, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, we've been doing puzzles and models for a long time, but this is our latest model kit series from 4D Puzz. Uh, we'll take you over here. This is actually made out of cardstock paper. Uh, a lot of people at the show can believe that this is not plastic. It looks like plastic. It's full color print, no sanding, and the size is actually huge. Uh, you can see it right Wait, there. It's it's a decent size, and the detail is incredible. So, uh, what brought all this on? What what was the idea behind doing 3D puzzles for Star Wars ships in such high detail? Well, we wanted to do this a long time ago. Uh, we have Harry Potter, we have DC, we have Marvel. But it was at a point where we started to get recognized by, by Lucas Films, and they actually, uh, we, we worked it out and we worked very hard to bring the most detailed kits made out of cardstock to the market. Tell me about the stands. So when you're finished building these, they actually come with a stand and you act, you would spend about 10 minutes building this piece. You just insert it and then you're ready to go and you can stand it on your shelf, in your office, in your man cave, or in your room. Do all the stands work like that, even for the larger pieces like the Star Destroyer here? Oh yeah, on the larger pieces, it actually, you have to build two stands. Um, we can bring you over here. Maybe we'll lift it up so you guys can see a little bit easier. But check out the detail. You can see the bottom of the Star Destroyer. You have to build that. Um, this type of activity, you build the in infrastructure first, and then you build the outside, and then you add all the details. But back to the stands, yes, they include two large stands for the Star Destroyer. And when you're finished, it's great for displaying, or you can pick it up from the stand as well. Some of our favorite models include the Adat Walker. Uh, if you want to hold that, I'll grab another one. Do the legs move? Uh, these are static, but uh, the legs are very intricate. You'll probably spend 10, 15 minutes just on the legs alone, and then you would insert it into the body. How there... many pieces is something like that one? This one is about 300 pieces. We worked very hard with Lucas. You can see from the bottom, we've got all the details, even the rear of the Adat is included. But even the artwork from here was taken from the original assets from Lucasfilm that they provided us. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's fun. You feel like you're part of the, you know, the cast and and the engineers behind the whole sequels when, when you're actually building this. So where does the design development process start for a 4D puzzle like this one? Well, basically we'll have a meeting with Lucasfilm, talk about the whole line list, making sure that we have a little bit of everything for everyone. But getting into the assets, they'll provide us the actual assets from, from Star Wars. And at that point, our designers start creating this from the inside and out. At the same time, our illustration and design team will start illustrating exact what they see on the assets. And of course, you know, Lucasfilm, they're awesome to work with. They know their ships inside out and they help us get it to the level of, of you know, what they expect. And this is what we see together right now. We'll speed through a quick speed by, but uh, this is the TIE Fighter. It comes with a stand. I mean, I'm, we're so proud of the rear of the ship as well. I mean, some of the plastic models don't even get some of the details that, that we're able to provide at this scale. Here's the TIE Interceptor. So, um, you know, over the years from now, we're, we're going to have every TIE Fighter that there is. We'll definitely work on that. Over there is the sand crawler. How long have you been working with this Star Wars license? Uh, it took about two years to get to this point and we're finally releasing these into the market. But you can imagine a year from now, I mean, we're probably going to triple the line. Um, we're working on Venator, uh, the Executor, the Superstar Destroyer. So definitely, you know, keep in touch with us. 
Some of the other models are on the other side. We have Millennium Falcon. Which I'll let you hold it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, you can see uh, the Pantone colors, uh, the shading. It takes a lot of work to get it to this level. If you turn it around, you can see the bottom of the ship. Look at that awesome detail on the thrusters. There's even like a blue glowing effect on the inside of the panels there. The dish looks awesome. You, and can, you can fly it around. And, it, and these are remarkably lightweight. Yes, exactly. They're, 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 they're very, very sturdy as they're well. They're very light. I like it. Over here we have the X-Wing. This one is the, the Red 5 version. Now do the wings open and close? Uh, they don't, everything is static. Okay. But uh, our engineers are working on some ways that we can make things move. Again, like they got the inner lighting of the thrusters on the inside there. You can see, you can see the, the light reflecting on the inside of the afterburners. That's pretty cool. So these are all incredible. Now, I also see some things other than ships. Uh, I see a BDA, uh, an R2. Do you do anything else other than uh, ships? And is there more plans for droids in the future? Yeah, well, we want to work on all the droids. We already have some, some su suggestions from Lucas on some droids that other vendors don't concentrate on. So we want to work on the famous ones and uh, obviously the more the core fan base ones that you guys like. Uh, we also have like helmets like Mandalorian's helmet. Uh, we don't have it here, but we have uh, Boba Fett's helmet. Comes with a stand and you know, this one is perfect size uh, to leave on your desk or on a Does shelf. Does this come off the stand or no? It comes off, but it's, uh, you know, it's made to it's made really to display, yeah. Now you mentioned you're working on life-size stuff as well. Yes, we actually have that one in life size. Um, we didn't bring it because it's so big, but we may save that for a Comic-Con uh, future exclusive or uh, a retailer exclusive. Uh, we'll keep it posted. Cool. Well, there you go, guys. Stay tuned for more. There's a lot more to come from 4D Puzz. We look forward to working with these guys soon. Where, would, where can they find more information about you? Right now, you can go to our website, 4dpuzz.com or 4dmodelkits.com. And there you go. Go there, get some of these awesome pieces right here. Uh, how long does it take to build these on average? Start a shore, six or seven hours. Uh, a, a TIE fighter is about uh, two to three hours. So on the small end, anywhere from like two to three hours up to six to seven hours on the bigger models. So, so you're going to get close to Lego. Yeah, you're going to get some good time and enjoyment out of putting one of these together. And it's not something you're just going to be able to do in an instant, which is also kind of nice because yeah. you'll just get to enjoy it. I don't know if we mentioned the price, but one important factor is Star Destroyer is only $70, six oh, that's to seven awesome. hours of time. When you get into the TIE Fighters that we showed you earlier, I mean, those are only um, $34.99. That's not bad at all for a model. Yeah. That's, so that's, that's pretty that's awesome. Very impressive. Yeah. So there you go. The time is worth it, guys. Make sure you check these guys out. We'll be looking to them for more awesome stuff in the future. We'll be working more closely with them. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Thanks, guys. See you later. See you soon.